Michael, how was school today? Yeah. Okay. You missed two more phones and you didn't participate in the public speaking assignment. So what? It was just a stupid speech. You know I'm not good at those. You should really get out of your shell more. Uh, I'm not all about this conversation, though. Hey, Michael, I saw an ambler on TV for that boy, Todd Whitey. I think I know who took him, Mom. He was on my basketball team, remember? What, what's the mayor's son? Do you know anything about it? Mayor's son? Oh, oh yeah, the mayor's son. It says the paper, uh, that... Dick's son has something to do with it. Uh, I think the Morphos are responsible for it. Was that the game? Was there a comment those years ago? Yeah, once he told me uh, where they hang out, but I was always too scared to go. I bet they took Tom there. You know, it's only a short bike ride from here, which is west. I don't think anyone else knows about this. You have to tell someone. You can't, Mom. Why would they believe me? I'm just that weird kid. Exactly. You know the team needs Tom. This town needs Todd. If you can rescue him, you should. Oh, Mom, what if he's not there? I'm wrong. It's what if I trip over a rock on the bike ride? It's worth a chance. If you find Todd, we'll have some reward money. We can give you that Nintendo you wanted. Right, Mom, it's called an Xbox One. All right, Todd and I are friends, believe it or not. I'll do my best. Leave first thing in the morning to find Todd. Okay, well, we're sweaters. Supposed to be a bit nippy outside. All right, sure. Yes, Mom. Longer. This is Borfo territory. Why are you here? I'm here to find Todd. <sighs> Calm down. Do you really want in to my lovely shark territory? You have to find yourself worthy of the tasks. All right. Well, I'm up for the. <clears throat> uh, I'm up for the challenge. In front of you are three grueling challenges of both physical and mental strength. Three. I'll tell you where Todd is. All right, hit me up with the first one. Let's do this. <sighs> All right, kid. It's not a game show. You better prepare yourself. This is a challenge of the mind. You will go against one of the nation's best hackers and a well-known con man in a game of blackjack. If you win, which is doubtful to say the least, you will move on to the next challenge. Our hacker Beta and our con man Giblet. Michael is frustrated, but then he remembers an algorithm that he had learned in his calculus class the week before. Couldn't this be used to figure out the card counting algorithm? Yes! Beta and Jibla have switched places for the final round. Right when it looks like Beta is going to win, Michael begins to move quickly and erratically. By confusing and distracting his opponent, he is able to barely slip by with 21. Michael wins the round. Ah, 21. What kind of bad guy is this? I don't. I no one knows the cards like I do. Looks like you'll have to play a game of 52 pickup. Come on, Sharknado. Let's go with the second challenge. This is Theodore, the arms dealer. We call him Tenderloin. The next challenge you must defeat me. You can choose any of those weapons. And if you lose, you suffer the consequences. Alright, bring it on, Beach 
jerky. You don't know what you're up against, kid. What is this? Someone's living room? Is this some kind of house party? Cut the sass. This is Dominator. He has the telekinetic powers of God. If you can defeat him, you will get to Todd. He's right behind that door of Richard Dixon. You better fight like a man. Bring it, kid. Let's do this. than you. You think you're some kind of powerful force? You've never felt poverty or loss. You're just a man with a magnetic force. So, one day you're going to come upon something that cannot be accomplished, not inside the box. You have to step out of the core for a minute and remember what really matters, the challenge at hand or the real goal. How dare you! With a pulse of adrenaline, Michael surges across the room and knocks Dixon to the ground. <laughs> Dixon lets out a screeching cry. Rage, fear, and the lingering glaze of methamphetamine use <laughs> glimmers in his eyes. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for that group of imbeciles I call a gang. It's over. With the reward money from the mayor, the price has created a new life. After Michael graduated, his mother found a new job and eventually moved into a new place. The college fund was also started for both of the sisters. Michael went on to play basketball in college and got a bachelor's degree in law school so he could sentence more dust bags to jail. Dixon sits in his jail cell after visiting rehab. Oh, you. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Go. Me. Games. 